What's going on everybody? My name is Mackenzie and this week we're going to show you three different ways to stylize text in Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. The first animation we're going to show you guys we call the expand animation. Once we open up After Effects we're going to hit new composition and change the settings the way we like. We'll hit OK then we'll go to the composition window hit new and then hit text. We're going to write out what we want it to say and then we're going to move the anchor point to the center of the text. And then we'll center the text. We're going to move down to the composition window, hit the S key, and then we're going to set two anchor points for the scale. We'll change the value of the second anchor point to 150 to increase the size. And then we're going to open up the graph window. And what this does is it allows us to visually see the speed adjustment. We're going to highlight both anchor points and bring them down and towards the center. Now that we have the animation down, what I'm going to do is increase the size of the second anchor point so that you can really see the animation. And that is how we do the expand animation. So for this next animation, we call it the snap-in animation. You're going to create a new composition, just like what we did before. You're going to create a new text, and you're going to write out whatever you'd like to say. And then you're going to drag the text over to the far left-hand side of the screen. You're going to go back into your composition window and hit the P key. This brings up your position. And then from there, you're going to set two anchor points. And the first one, you're going to drag the x-axis all the way so that the text goes off the screen. Then with your second anchor point, you're going to bring all of it back so that you can see the entire text again. You're going to highlight both of your anchor points. And then you're going to go into your graph window. You're going to expand it a little bit. You're going to highlight the second anchor point. You're going to bring it down and towards the center as much as you can, creating a ramp. And then with your first anchor point, you're going to bring the position back towards the first anchor point. And that's it. That's how you do the snap-in animation. The next animation we're going to show you is the rise up animation. Once again, you want to set up a new text layer, and then you want to center it. Now to center it, you need to go to your align window and center it horizontally and vertically. If you don't see the align window, you go to your window and then make sure that align is checked. Now that we're all aligned up, let's go to our composition window, hit the down arrow, animate, and position. This gives you some new animation options. You want to hit the down arrow on range selector, and then you want to go to your start, hit a new keyframe, then you want to drag the playhead to where you want the animation to end, and adjust the percentage to 100%. Next, we want to go to the advanced settings and hit the down arrow. From the down arrow, we're going to go to based on and change characters to words. Then go to position and adjust the value of the Y axis. Next, we're going to find the ease high setting and adjust the value to 100%. This ramps the speed of the animation. Next, we're going to add a mask. Right click on the text, go to mask, new mask. Then go back to your first anchor point and adjust the mask so that it completely covers the text. Once you've adjusted it to your liking, you want to go find the mask setting and then check inverted. Then we want to go under mask one, mask feather, and increase the percentage a little bit. Now we'll just make a minor adjustment and that's about it. That's how you do the rise up animation. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Mackenzie. Be sure to like this video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests and we'll be sure to answer them. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and we'll see you here next week.